we started Savage Race in 2011, we set a few rules that we live by to this day. Rule number one, Savage Race is meant to be a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, we have the best obstacles in OCR, and some of them are pretty damn tough, but they all have to be fun. If it's not fun, it's out. And it's definitely not about grinding out burpees if you can't complete an obstacle. Rule number two, Savage Race will challenge you no matter who you are. For James Stangle, it was about completing every single Savage Race this year, and that means he completed 568 obstacles. For Heaven Cologne, it was about using obstacle course racing as a catalyst to lose over 200 pounds. And for me, who's been trying to get Sawtooth for eight years and finally got it this year for the very first time. Rule number three, community matters more than everything. If we aren't building community, fostering teamwork and friendship, then we aren't doing our job. And rule number four, Savage Race will always have the best obstacles in the industry. Try Shriveled Richard. Yeah, it's a huge dumpster filled with ice. Nothing too difficult about it, really, other than committing to freezing your ass off. And there's Wheel World, one of my absolute favorites. This one is all about grip strength and technique. Sawtooth, this is my nemesis for the longest time. Then there's Colossus, the biggest and baddest in the game. And we've introduced over 100 obstacles since we got started, and we keep coming out with new and better ones every single year. So if you want to get challenged and have fun with an amazing race community on the industry's best obstacles, you have to give Savage Race a try.